We begin now with more on this morning's breaking news in Lexington. Yeah, Lexington police just gave an update on the shootout, followed by an hours long standoff. All ended with one officer wounded and the suspect dead. We have live team coverage on the situation with Evan Leak near the scene of the shooting. But first, LAX 18's Michael Burke joins us live from Lexington Police Headquarters in downtown with details from their latest briefing that wrapped up 30 minutes ago. Well, Dia, thank you very much. Lexington Police, as you mentioned, just addressed this situation uh, within the last hour here at police headquarters. And here's what we've learned so far about that shooting last night at the motel at Tates Creek Road. Again, this is information by the police. And it's not much at this point, given the fact that this is very early in their investigation. But police were apparently responding to a call about trespassing and assault. And when they entered the motel room, they say the suspect, an African-American male whose name has not yet been released, fired first and police then returned fire. Chief Lawrence Weathers noted that body cams were all on at the time, and that obviously will be very important going forward. An emergency response unit was then called, and it wasn't until many hours later that a negotiation got the officers into the room at 4.30 a.m., and that's when they were able to realize that they found him wounded. He later died from his injuries. The officer who was struck has since been released from the hospital. For Chief Weathers, who now has several officers on administrative leave, including the two involved last night, this is always a difficult situation to manage. Um, it's very difficult. Uh, there are a lot of motions involved. You know, um, the officers that are involved, their families, uh, the motions are involved. Um, the uh, suspect and relatives, you have emotions there. And then you have emotions uh, from the public. Uh, and they get emotionally involved. And then you know, you have the motions from the chief, too, you know. Lexington Police Chief Lawrence Weathers commenting on last night's shooting about 45 minutes ago. Now, as is customary in cases where police have to return fire, uh, the Kentucky State Police will now handle this investigation going forward. They did have a representative here, but he would not comment, given that this is not only an ongoing investigation, but obviously very early in the investigation. Live in Lexington, I'm Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.